Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is a speaker and author of several books on relationships. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello, ladies. Welcome to my spot. Admit he was a good man. You know what? I'm going to tell you, ladies, what? Let me share some uh, wisdom. Most of the things I'm telling y'all came from women. Let me say that again. Most of the things I'm telling y'all came from women. See, I always say, uh, and I've always said this, I've maintained this. Much of the game I learned, the game, especially about relationships, came from women. What men taught me was the game of life and how a man should be in life, but how to actually deal with women and the issues that a man's going to like face with women came from women. Women gave me more game because they said, you know what, you got a good heart. We don't want to see a woman dog you. That's why they told me that. And some of these women, some of these women were like sex workers and stuff. Or, you know, sugar babies or women who played men on a regular. But they said, nah, we don't want to see you get caught up with somebody like us. Right. So, and, you know, one woman I got some game from, and I've always, I've always do. I know a lot of guys, a lot of men don't like listening to women, but you find some women who just kind of more pragmatic and honest, and they do exist. You know, they gonna tell you. But anyway, this one woman, she said, it's something she uh, shared with me, right? She said, um, you know, often a woman will find Mr. Right. She'll find the perfect guy for her. Even she will acknowledge he's the perfect guy, right? But then what will happen is some fine dude come in the picture, you know, smile at him, get him all hot, and they leave the good guy, get with the fine dude. But then the fine dude end up dogging them, right? And then it's like they lose out on the good man, right? In fact, uh, I was reminded of this recently. It's such a prevalent thing. I was reminded of this, there's a uh, youngin at one of the stores that uh, I frequent in this area, and she was telling me that. You know, tell me about this dude she got with this pretty boy who dogged her out. But then she had a good guy before that, and she actually rolled from him. All right? She actually rolled on him. Because she was talking about, yeah, you know, now she she totally jacked up now in therapy and everything. All right? But here's the thing. That's a common occurrence. That's a common occurrence. Now, the title of this joint was Admit He Was a Good Man. One thing I found with some women. I found with a lot of women, like if a woman had that good man, they had that good man and they just blew it. They just made a mistake. They got caught up with, you know, that dog, that, you know, that, that fine dude came in the picture. And here's the irony of it. Here's the irony of it, right? The dude that they rolled from the good man wasn't like some buster or something. He usually had everything even fine himself, but we know how it is. We, we know how it is. A dude could be fine, but you get used to him after a while and you want something new. Now, check it out. Sometimes women, they'll, you know, they'll leave the good man, you know, get with the bad boy. I'll say the word bad boy because he dog you out, treat you like shit. One, because he don't respect you. If, he know, if a man know he took you from another man, he ain't going to trust you at that point. Women, they, look, ladies, let me give y'all some game on that. If you leave a man for another man, and this other man knows it, in in 95% of the cases, he ain't going to marry you unless he's a simp. And that's going to be rare that you even want a simp. In 95% of the cases, there's always that small percentage. There's always an exception. But in most cases, he's not because he's going to think, oh, if I could take her from this other dude so easily, some other dude can take her from me. He ain't going to trust you. And all he wanted to do was hit it. So, you know, just to let you know on that, get out that fantasy that it'll be happily ever after. It's rare. <laughs> it's, it's rare. If he, if he pulled you from a situation that he had any respect for you, he'll probably send you back. And I've known some men who will do that. They'll mess with some. I've known some men personally. They'll mess with some uh, woman or some had a man and a woman already to roll and everything. And they'd be like, go back to your man. Just go back to your man. All right? I've done it told you I wasn't like a saint when I was younger so anyway right 
what many women will do with that good man is try to find everything bad about him, right? Try to because they got to justify their decision. They got to rationalize it. And ladies, y'all know y'all do. Y'all rationalize a lot why y'all do it. Because seriously, I've, I've, I've counseled some women who've done that. They had a good guy. They had Mr. Right. They had that guy who wasn't ugly to him. He wasn't ugly. He was handsome to him, in fact. Fine. All of that. But, you know, they just got used to him and they want that excitement. Right. But then they got to They got to If they do it, then they got to be able to say something because they know their friends. If they find out, they know their friends going to call them on it because women, y'all know y'all do this. Even though there's this general perception that y'all put up with uh, other females fuckery, which some of y'all do, but some of y'all know y'all take that woman to the side and say, girl, what you, what you doing? Y'all know y'all do that. Y'all call them out on it. Be like, hold up, that's a good dude. What, what are you doing? All right? Other women will say it, but, you know, the women's so caught up in, like, that pretty boy, she, that blind in light. So she got justified. It's like she started magnifying little things that the dude is doing. Like somebody with some common sense to do it, right? But they'll try to say all that. And then, and this is a situation I'm seeing, which is why I'm bringing it up, right? So they um, they roll from the guy, the guy dog him. But then to save face, they got to keep, they got to keep trying to justify why they had to lead a good guy in the first place. Now, some women get lucky. They admit to it. They say, look, I f- fucked up. And they do what they got to do to get back with their good man. But some, they got to justify it. And I've, I'm, there's some women I see them now. I, of course, I ain't going to call their names, but they, their shit's just on a downward spiral. Like everybody see it. And it was like, well, you, you complained about it, but you had a good dude. I know so many women like this. You had a good dude or you passed him over. And, you know, but you trying to say he's this or that. And somebody with some common sense is going to be like, you know what? That was some bullshit. You could have worked through that. Well, what? It'd be like some little stuff, too. Be some little stuff. Dude be like, dude be like 5'11 and three fourths. And a woman be like, oh, well, you know what? He wasn't six feet. <laughs> and, and she only 5'2 saying this, right? And seriously, I've heard, I've heard some stuff that stupid. It'd be like little small things. It'd be like, you know, if it's like something major, like dude was unhygienic or dude was abusive. Well, if he was a, he, if he was abusive, he wasn't a good man. But usually, it's like something minor, right? But yeah, if he's just totally unhy- unhygienic, or you know, he lacks ambition, or you're taking care of, okay. But usually, the women be like, "Oh, he's great." In fact, I've known, I know this one dude, right? And he used to tear up some married women, right? And he said, "Yeah, this woman was telling him while he pounding her on a couch. Oh, yeah, she loved her husband and stuff. He a good man, right?" But you got to find something he ain't doing. And I'm going to tell you how deep it is. The good man could even could even been good in bed. But the woman just wanted something new, right? Like I said earlier. But, you know, but one of the things a woman, these women can do is just say, you know what, he was a good man. Just admit to it. Just, just admit and then say, you know what, I fucked up. That's how you do it. Because I see I've met so many women who will be in denial that they actually hurt themselves. They ain't hurting anybody. People can see through through them anyway. Right? People can see through it. Their girlfriends see through it. In fact, what usually happens, and ladies, this is one th- thing I give credit to women for. Once y'all through with somebody, y'all through with them. <laughs> y'all through with them. Even if it's a dude who is dicking you down good. Once you through, you through. Y'all, y'all will cut, y'all, shit, y'all kick a friend to the curb. Y'all be like, you know, and I ain't hanging out with that half. <laughs> I get that to y'all. Like, men, we, we'll fuss and fight, physically fight in the streets and shit. Then we cool in six months. Yeah. Y'all just be like, no, we ain't talking to a beginning life. <laughs> but, ladies, for those who are guilty of this, you know what? If he was a good man, just admit it that you messed up. That's the first way. It, it doesn't necessarily mean you getting back with that, that guy. It don't mean that at all, but... You know, once you once that you got dogged out enough by that bad boy, you should probably want to get in another relationship. And but if you carrying that energy and you carrying that lie around like this guy was so bad, it's going to affect how you deal with other men because you ain't dealing with reality. You got to heal from. It. You got to learn from the mistake. And in fact, the new guy 
Not the good man or the bad boy, but the new guy coming in the picture, that might be the right guy for you. Because then you go in, you learn how to appreciate a good man. Because that's another thing, too. In fact, I'm going to talk about that in the next one, all right? Because that's a personal thing I had. But learn to appreciate. So, but first thing y'all got to do, admit he was a good man, all right? So anyway, that's all I got for y'all ladies. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace and blessings.